Hey guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions Tips and Tricks Thursdays. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some tips on how to get a job right after college. This was actually a requested video a while back. I put it on Instagram, but you guys want to see next on my YouTube. And one of you guys submitted this idea, so here I am giving you what you want. So as some of you may know, I am in a communication slash journalism field and I did indeed get a job straight out of college at a news station, which was exactly what I wanted. So I put together a little list with a few tips of things that I did that helped me get to the job in a way. But I feel like these tips doesn't necessarily apply just to communications journalism majors. I feel like it applies to any type of job in any major. So here they are tip number one have your resume ready this should have been done from the moment you started college and then you should have just as the years went by been adding things in there if you did internships you would un have that under your experience and you should have just had the background of the schools you went to this and that your skills and as you learn new things you will put it under skills there and your resume just should have been done if you're about to graduate in let's say what three months and your resume is not done that is a problem you better get to it because that that needs to be done that is number one another thing about a resume let's say you are applying to a company that you really 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 want to work for and there are a few different positions open and you really don't care what position you land in you just want your way in there you gotta pay attention to this so let's say one job opening is in the digital media side and is as a producer and then you have another one that is in the uh, let's see in the sales department whatever in the sales department so then you cannot send the same, the same resume to both you got to make sure you change in the objective line what's your objective to the to like what you're looking for so you got to change that little line and then for your objective for the digital media producer i am a hardworking um, professional ready to write some stories produce this show produce this and that blah, 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 blah. and then in the sales one you gotta make sure you, you you know you can't pass have that same information of a producer to the sales department so in the sales make sure you know you could write i am a hardworking professional ready to work in da -da -da -da, whatever it is i'm not a sales person so i don't have a good example for you but i hope you get my idea okay next number two geography so you gotta think maybe you don't want to leave miami you want to work forever in miami but you should keep your options open so think of other places you wouldn't mind working i mean it could be a little bit distance like broward but you could expand and be like okay i'm gonna go work in orlando or new york or ohio wherever it is have a list of places that you don't mind working at or new cities that you wouldn't mind to move just to have the job that you like so make a list of geography places you wouldn't mind moving to to work that's very important especially in this field of mine very important number three list all the companies you would like to work for so in my case i listed all the tv stations that i would mind working for so then what i did is that i would search at each company in their um, job employment section or whatever if they had any openings and if they did I would apply so funny story I applied to so many that there was a point I just lost track and I just didn't know what station was switched and it was a hot mess so I would have like stations calling me to talk to me or whatever and then I'll be like um I'm sorry who is this from what station where's that located again oh okay it was so embarrassing there was once one of them actually told me he's like um so how many did you apply to and i was like honestly a lot very very embarrassing true story so make sure you don't lose track and you know what company is what where they're located and everything you need to know for when you get that call they know that you know okay now number four if there's no job section contact the company maybe there are job available but they have not made it on the site so 
that's a good thing to do. And number five, just be ready. Be ready for the call, know what to say, know what to do, and prove that you can do whatever you have on that resume. Let's say you have some skills there that you really don't know how to work with that program, that's not good. You should have all the truth in there and do not lie about your employment. I used to think, I was like, nah, they don't have time to search if you actually worked here in 1995. And let me tell you, they do check and I, I've gotten firsthand um, that confirmation. I get calls at work from, I don't know if it's like a, uh, another company that does it for like the main company or secondary company. I don't know how that works, but whatever. I've had people call at work with like, oh, I'm calling to um, confirm employment of da 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 da. And you know, those are the companies confer trying to confirm if like the person they're trying to hire actually did work there and God knows when, okay? So do not lie because they will find out. And if they find out your line, the job opportunity is most likely gone for you. They're just, they're not gonna hire you, so don't do it. So okay. another tip that I really didn't add to the list because I feel like it applies mostly to journalists and reporters and stuff is apply to the jobs way beforehand because this is a long process. You're not gonna get a car or anything for maybe like three months. It's a very extensive process, but I mean, if it's, um a company a marketing company or like engineering or something i don't know i don't know how those work maybe you get a call if they like what they see you'll get a call fast the process is probably shorter i don't know not sure but apply with time okay all right so if you see you are graduating in three months before those three months you should apply already okay so they can already know if they even call you for a job meeting and then you're like oh i haven't graduated whatever um at least they took interest in you and they know wow this guy is going to be a recent grad he could be good as an um entry position so you don't know you never know but just apply ahead okay so really quick i want to share with you guys how exactly i landed that first job at a news station so I did my bachelor's degree in two years. I finished in 2016. Then I decided to stay one more year in college to do my master's. So then I graduated in 2017. So then my last semester before graduating with my master's, I decided to study abroad. So then I was like, hmm, I'm gonna be away for a while. Let me just start applying for jobs. So maybe like when I come back from my trip, I already start getting calls and start already having like a plan for my future. So that's exactly what I did before I left on my trip in May. I started applying to jobs online, random stuff. Um, Even if it was like a person who like works the lights or whatever, I was fine with it. I would work those lights for you. So I applied to random stuff. I didn't necessarily think of other places outside of Florida. I tried to, since I was young, straight out of college, I was like, eh, let me try to think small, uh, what, entry whatever position at a small news station, local. And exactly that's what I did. And so uh, three days before I came down from Spain, because I study abroad in Spain, I got a call from WSVN Channel 7 in Miami, and they're like, hey, um, I'm calling da -da 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 from WSVN. Uh, I saw you applied for Simon Editor. Da -da -da -da. Um, would you be interested in coming for an intern? And I was like, hey, of course. Thank you so much for contacting me. I'm actually abroad right now, but as soon as I get back, I'll, I'll happily go in for an interview. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I got that call like on a Thursday or something, and I landed on Saturday. So that Monday, I went and got my interview. And yep, happy ending there. Got the job. So if you put your mind to it, everything will work out. Just be very positive. Keep yourself organized. Don't go crazy. There's always gonna be an opportunity out there. Someone's always gonna either get fired or quit or move or do this and that. There's gonna be an open position just for you. So you know if it's meant to be or happen, okay? So just don't give up. Your time will come, all right? So I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, let me know down below. Shoot me a DM on Instagram, Facebook, uh, anything. I will, I will get back to you. So that's all for now. See you guys next time.